Demonstrations continue in Richmond for a second night in a row as protesters express their outrage over the murder of George Floyd. I'm Jake Burns. Floyd was killed in Minnesota, but video of a now fired police officer kneeling on his neck has sparked outrage across the country. We have complete coverage tonight with several crews working for you to give you the latest details. Matthew Fultz and Cameron Thompson are both town town. Let's go straight over to Cameron. Cameron, what are you seeing and where are you? Well, right now, uh, Jake, just to get my bearings again, right now we are at Broad and Jefferson, and uh, just a block away from me was uh, Broad and Adams, where uh, a crowd of several hundred people were here a little bit earlier, but um, it does smell like they have deployed tear gas recently, so the crowd has been moving uh, first west, then east down Broad Street, and then back up further here up uh, Jefferson, where we can't really see the majority of the crowd right now, but we've walked past several people you can see down the street. Uh, getting water, getting milk in their eyes to try and help deal with the effects of the tear gas. Of course, all this starting earlier tonight, we first got out to Broad and Belvedere where the initial uh, protest was going on at that street corner, about uh, 100 people there before they started marching uh, through the city. It wasn't with them for the entire portion, so I'm not sure if they have split up into different groups going down Broad and Main Streets at time. And again, here where we are along Broad, there are a few businesses that have uh, had their windows uh, crashed out and uh, broken, but there actually have been some people who have been telling the protesters to stop smashing the windows. Uh, one woman was uh, um, chastising some people, telling them these are black owned businesses and they are doing more damage by going after uh, the businesses that were right here. And again, like I said, right now on Broad Street, where there was uh, several hundred of the protesters uh, earlier, some of the things we've seen, like I said, you've uh, smelt the uh, tear gas in the air as well. We have seen some fireworks shot off as police have been following the crowds on. And uh, purple smoke bombs, uh, for lack of a better term, have also been lit off near uh, down the streets, closer to RPD headquarters, where you can see some uh, lights on right now. And, uh, further police presence still situated at some of these corners right now. So uh, we're going to toss it back to you and try and get closer back to where this group was at the uh, time. Uh, working for you in Richmond right now, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News. All right, Cam, stay safe. We'll check back with your crew here in a few minutes. Matthew Foltz joins us live also from downtown. And Matthew, what are you seeing? You've been with these protesters most of the evening. Yeah, Jake, that's right. We're actually at the corner of 2nd Street and Gray Street in front of the Wells Fargo where windows have been completely busted out. Let me get take out a uh, step out of the shot as my photographer Todd Haas zooms in and show you what's going on. So as you can see, this Wells Fargo has been completely busted out of all its windows. It's been sprayed with graffiti. Many people have been walking by taking pictures um, and also down the, the street to our right, you can see a dumpster that's set on fire. We actually saw that, um, the only fire that we've seen so far tonight. And we've, we've got uh, Richmond helicopters in the air. Richmond police have been riding around all through the night in the, in the streets of Richmond. We saw state police as well as SWAT teams. And again, we've been following this protesters since about uh, 8 o'clock, 8.30 this evening. It started out at the corner of Broad and Belvedere people with their signs asking for no, no justice, no peace. We actually spoke with a few protesters earlier. Here's what they had to say. Stand with us. Do not meet us with riot gear. We want love. We do not want anger. We do not want violence. We want love. We're gonna keep going until it's done. There is no stopping. Every time we stop, it happens again. So we ain't stopping this. We are not stopping it. And I'm not, censoring my blackness you're gonna learn how to accept it period it's more to us than anything like we've been dealing with this for years and it's like we still ain't get no justice so no peace no justice it speaks for itself and strong emotions coming from those protesters tonight. Again, we want to remind folks at home, we are safe out here tonight. We are away from the protesters. We do have security with us at this time, and we're going to try to keep up and give you as much updates through the night as we can from a safe distance. Make sure to follow WTBR on air and online at WTBR.com. Working for you tonight in Richmond, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News. As we mentioned, we have several crews bringing you complete coverage of tonight's protests in Richmond, all in response to the death of George Floyd. We're going to check in now with crime insider John Burkett, who is live in downtown Richmond. John, what have you been seeing? 
Well, Jake, about uh, 15 minutes ago, we saw a crowd of about a couple hundred people that uh, was heading west on Broad Street. That crowd has since diminished. And actually, police set up a barricade here, launched some tear gas, and flushed them north side of Broad Street. They went kind of in the Jackson Ward area. And so long, uh, so far, we have not seen any more pop up. Now, 10 minutes before uh, 11 o'clock tonight, we saw a convoy of state troopers coming down Broad Street. And I assume they turned left here on Adams towards 2nd Precinct because that is where the crowd was gathering just about 10 minutes before uh, broadcast time here in the city of Richmond. My colleague Matt Fultz is over there at the Wells Fargo where he tells us several uh, places over there have been vandalized, including the Wells Fargo. My buddy Cameron here, Cameron Thompson, run the camera. We've seen on the stretch of Broad Street here several uh, businesses that have windows broken out. The art gallery actually had uh, either the owner or a worker inside uh, guarding his business down there. And on the way walking here, we saw a knife, a, a, a kitchen knife in the middle of the street. And uh, we left it alone, shot some video of it and moved on. But there is a pungent odor of tear gas in the area that has seemed to flush this crowd north side. And so far, uh, we have not seen a reemergence of this crowd uh, as of yet. We've been following with your sources left and right on the uh, on the response prior to this evening, the police getting ready for this. What did you learn about what preparations went into this night? Well, I think they kind of got caught off guard a little bit last night, Jake. So they kind of beefed up for tonight, knowing, anticipating that more of these protests would come tonight. So they are ready tonight. They got the chopper above. They got, as I said, state police. I talked to one of my sources who said that Chesterfield County Police, they were instrumental last night in mutual aid coming to this area because they simply uh, had a lot of officers that were uh, dealing with uh, bus fires and everything else. So they needed some reinforcement from Henrico and Chesterfield last night. We have not seen any of those officers here tonight except state police. They are here in the city in full force. All right, thanks, John. We know you'll be following your sources throughout the evening, and we'll have updates for you starting on the morning on CBS 6 News Sunday morning.